think of the point of a relationship is to try and be as like real and as like, authentic to your real self, not what you've seen from me, not what you've seen from Andrew Tate or from any YouTuber or you know, any belief that you have. You should act like this. You should try to figure out exactly who you really are, your real beliefs, your real feelings, your real thoughts, your real like logical like um, interpretations of your world and what you're attracted to. And that's what you should find with a woman who's compatible with those things. So we, I could tell you right now to pretend to be an alpha male and to not care that your girl's going anywhere, or I could tell you to pretend to be an alpha male and to like punish her and to stay at home and stuff. But either way, it's like all that's gonna do is hurt both you and her because there is some incompatibility there. You want, and it's totally fine to say this, you want a woman who is physically closer and who wants to be around you more often. That's what I'm getting from you. I think that's true. And that's absolutely fine to say that's not toxic. That's not misogynist. That's not anything like this. You just want a woman who's close to you. Nothing wrong with that. There's guys who actually kind of like it when the woman's not close to her, uh, close to him. Nothing wrong with that because that's what they want. That's what they desire in a relationship. Right now, it's like you've got a woman who another guy might appreciate, a guy who really wants his space and his independence and he doesn't want to see her for a month or something because he's busy somewhere else. But it seems like you don't actually want that. But of course, like you said, there's the love and the attachment there, which is where it gets tricky. Because if I ask you just logically, no emotions, imagine this was just like a checkbox, like just like pure brain, no heart right now. Knowing what you know about this girl, that she likes to travel without you, that she's happy to spend months of the year without you, that she's doing that to follow her dreams, but her dreams involve working for minimum wage in restaurants. So it's not like, you know, it's some huge lucrative career or anything, right? If just knowing what you know now with pure logic, would you date a woman like that? Probably not. Logically, she is not right for you. We could be slightly wrong. Now, there could be a chance that you can say this to her. In a nice way, not to, not to say, no, 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 you're not allowed out of that bitch. You don't say anything horrible or anything. But you just kind of just ask her and bring it up with authenticity. I'm sure you know if you spoke about these things before, but you've done it in these micro moments of like, oh, wait, you're going to Italy, but I'm not too sure about that. Are you going to this guy? But I think you should look not at the specific trick that she's planning on, but as the person that she is. She is the person that finds enjoyment from space away from you. She's the person that has a whole life, like the whole world outside of you, and she's happy to explore that. I think you should ask her and sit down with her and then speak to her when you can. Maybe if you don't know, this distance between you right now, I think you should like, literally phone call her today and just speak about these things and say, listen, this is something that I want to like, discuss. I wonder if we are compatible. Now, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but you, my, my, my interpretation of you is that you want to go and be adventurous and free and travel a lot without me. And I would never want to stop you or change you to be who you are. It seems like that's what's happening now. It seems like I need to change you to be someone else because I just don't really want to date a person who's traveling like without me this often for years, for months of the, the, the year. How would you feel about asking her that? Well, if you believe me or not, I actually asked more or less this exact question, ask her that yesterday. But we talked about it for hours, probably. And she, we came up with one solution, if you could say, and I would be really interested in your opinion on that solution. She said it isn't about like me traveling alone. Like of course she would love to me go with her, which wasn't possible because we had this gap year in a sense. She finished school a year earlier than me because she's actually a bit older than me. Um, so I was still trapped in school in that sense while she was like free <laughs> from that perspective. Um, and she said, okay, now that you have finished school, you're also like free in that sense. And the way on the business I'm currently working on isn't successful quite yet. Um, but like on long term future, this will enable me to uh, be location independent as well. So we talked thought about like okay, if she for example goes to Italy or somewhere else, that I just go with her. And for me personally, I wouldn't really have a huge problem with this from the perspective that I want to stay anywhere else because I personally don't have this connection to certain areas of the world. I think I'm just indifferent. I don't care if I'm in Germany, in Dubai, in UK, I just don't care. Like I care more about like relationships and values and stuff like that. So I was thinking because maybe it's just like my false understanding of masculinity. But like from that perspective, I, I, I wonder if you could tell what I'm going to say. Like I'm just going after her in a sense like, oh yeah, I want to go this, okay, I'm just going there. Like I don't care about myself. Like I still can work from, from my PC, whatever, I just need the internet connection. I don't know if this is a suitable solution as well, so I would be interested in your opinion on that. Mm -hmm. I can, the first thought I have is I can imagine that would be like negative for the, like the polarity and the excitement of your relationship. I can imagine that you would feel, and maybe she would feel that you were kind of following her around, that wherever she wants to go because you know she wants to like enjoy somewhere in Italy and she wants to go to like this other place and this other place. Your relationship with her and where you guys live is based on like her shiny object syndrome rather than your purpose, which usually is not a good dynamic at all. It's interesting because it's like technically it's like it doesn't really matter for you, so you could, you know, you, you can just go anywhere you work with business and stuff, I think. I think you would be more ambitious than that. I think, sure, okay, you could be anywhere that you wanted to be. You know, you work on my suite. And you say you don't really care about being in whatever country and stuff. And I, I relate to that as well. Like, I think it's not so much the country that you're in, it's more so like the specific micro environment of like where you literally, the desk that you work on and the two people you spend time with. I think that makes 10 times more difference in your, your work and everything. But again, you're, you're not on this hole because you want to be average. You want to be way up there. I don't think you've done this just yet, Dennis, but I would ask you what is the best case scenario for you? Where would you live, the work, the woman that you're with, the type of personality and traits that she has? I'm not sure if I see that in you. I'm not sure that you're acting. Like 100 percent aligns to your purpose and mission and i think that's causing you pain and anxiety because you're living down here you're saying to yourself like oh but you know like I, I could live like this i could follow her in whatever restaurant she wants to work into like, you know she wants to go to berlin for two months like it's kind of annoying for me to constantly set up and yourself my routine somewhere else but i could do because you know like, my girl wants to go follow her purpose and her mission of enjoying and having fun instead which again you can do you can make compromises in a relationship and i think that's actually still important it's not about masculine feminine or whatever it's like you know you've, you're sharing your life with someone so you've got to have you know they're going to be able to be happy too but i do think you're living quite like a shallow life with your decisions i don't think you're being very ambitious with your decisions. I think you're downplaying what you want out of life to fit her into it. Instead of for a second taking a step back from the relationship and thinking about life as a whole, thinking about your purpose, your mission, what kind of life that you want, relationship you want, the ultimate ambitious goal for your business, your purpose, your mission, and then thinking, okay, how does that actually fit into that? 